Hi, welcome to one of 3 ds for Splendor tutorial. We're going to be going over some basic modeling. You're going to be making a pop can. It should show you all you need to know to start doing your own models. Um, and we'll get started here with some of the basics. This is a camera, cube, and light. This is how Blender always starts up unless you change some of the settings. And we don't need the cube, so we'll either hit delete or X to delete it. Um, to rotate around the screen, you hold down the middle mouse button and move your mouse. To move, you hold down the shift and do the same. And then scroll, scroll zooms. And we'll hit shift A or go up to here to the add button up there to bring up this add menu. And we'll add a circle. And we'll put in 15 vertices over here just to keep the vertex count low. And we are going to hit E to extrude and hit Z to make it so you only can move it up and down the Z axis. Move it down a little bit. Then we'll hit S to scale. Move it in towards the object to scale it down. Oh, then we're going to hit E again and Z. Then E and S in a little bit, and E and Z. It's not getting too repetitive, but we'll hit E again, we'll go up the Z axis a little bit, left click, and then hit S, scale it in a little bit. Then we're going to hit E again, we're going to right click, and then we're going to hit Alt M, and we're going to merge at center. And I'll do that, and we'll raise it up a little bit. That's the bottom of the can right there. And to select multiple points, first off, by select hitting A, you'll deselect all the points you have selected, and then if you hit it again, you'll select all. And by hitting B, you'll open up this drag menu and can, can select multiple points. Hit B and you drag with the middle mouse button, it'll deselect all the points. So we're going to select all of these on the edge here, the original circle. Okay, make sure you don't have anything else selected. Okay. We'll go to a side view. I push 3 to go to the left view. Look right here. Here's all the views. And it has a number pad, shortcut to each of them. Um, if you're using a laptop, then usually you don't have a number pad and you're going to have to manually select those. Okay, and we're going to extrude it up the z-axis again until it just looks right, about the size of Popkin relative to what we're doing. doesn't need to be exact up the z-axis, scale it in a little bit, okay, up the z-axis again, and we're going to scale this out a little bit to make that lip that's on the edge of pop cans, and up the z-axis a little bit again, and in, yep, again, and down the z-axis, down a little ways, so then we're going to extrude down the z axis again, this time shrink it a tiny bit. Hit e and shrink that right there. E, go up the z axis a little bit. Then we're going to hit E again and Alt, right click and then Alt M and center. And then we have our basic pop can. You can go to object mode. Set it to smooth over here. I'll have this thing right here. Um, it's just a problem with your normals. You fix real easy. That happens sometimes. You go to texture mode. Then all of a sudden, everything's just shown up invisible, except for this part. It means that everything's facing the wrong way. Um, all you have to do is select everything, all the vertices. Go to normals and recalculate. That won't should fix it. Um, if it doesn't, you'll have to go on each face and fix it yourself manually. Um, that usually isn't necessary, but it happens with some things if you don't model it quite right. Um, 
the shape, it just doesn't seem to like to calculate the normals right. Okay, so we're going to go to our top view right here, or your number seven um, on your number pad. We are going to add a cube, and I guess I should have waited to go to the top, but I'm going to scale that down, go back to the top view. We're going to go to edit mode and we are going to hit this button. This will make it so you can see through the object and select multiple vertices and lines. I'm going to click this. This makes it so you select lines instead of vertices. This one makes it so you select faces. And we are going to hit W to subdivide those lines. It's going to make it split right in half. A lot of tutorials tell you to use um, the loop cut, I'm not really a fan of that just because you have to manually, your, manually yourself make it exact and it's just easier to do it this way for me. So we can go back to object mode and we're going to go to modifiers and we're going to mirror it. Alright, now we're going to go back to edit mode and we're going to start making the cap or whatever it's called. Alright, select these, extrude them, and then extrude them one more time. Might have to adjust things a little bit later, but I got the general shape right now. Zoomed in a little bit too much. Doesn't want to zoom in anymore. All right, that looks like it's like they're touching right. Um, you don't want to go past, just because then you'll end up with two planes in there, and that's a bad view. We might have to go in and delete it if it if it adds a plane right in there later on, because that can cause problems. But it might not if we did it right. All right. Extrude this up again. All right. And we're going to need to adjust some things. We'll bring this down a little bit. And this out. And we're going to extrude this up a little ways. About there. We have to move this out. And we can scale the whole thing to fit to the right size later on. Alright. start rounding things off here just a little bit. This needs to be more rounded up in here. So we'll do that. there. This is just a little bit of touch up and you'll be able to do this at your discretion. We're going to be applying some subdividers for smoothing on this later. Alright, we got the basic shape. I'm going to select all of it and scale it down on the Z axis a little bit. Thinner. 
So to scale on a certain axis, you press S and then Z or whatever axis you want to scale it on. And then just scale it on that axis. Okay, and we're gonna smooth in. Make sure our normals are all right. All right, and we're having a little bit of a problem with them, but we're gonna apply this. We're gonna go to edit mode. And our problem is we've got these planes right here. We don't want them there. We have to delete that. We got two of them, so we're gonna have to merge some vertices. If you select here and then you select, hold shift and select at the same spot, you'll find that you have two vertices. Happens sometimes when you're merging. Um, it's kind of hard to get it to work right. You just have to do a little bit of cleanup afterwards. This is something that no one really shows in their tutorials. And when you're first starting out and you don't make something quite right, it can cost you a lot of time to get things to look right. Right. And now everything should look normal. Yep. Just like that. And we're gonna go back into edit mode. And we are gonna add a cylinder. Bring that up. Select our alt. I'm gonna scale it down. Go back to the top. Move it over in the correct position. To get it right there first. Probably should have reduced the number of vertices in that, but we'll just live with it for now. Okay, so this is the part that connects it down to that. We'll scale it down on the z-axis, like that. Make sure it's touching. All right, and then we go to object mode, set it to smooth again. There we go, we got a bottle cap and a pop can. And we we'll move this whole thing down until it touches, and then we'll go back to the top, and we'll scale it up so that it's fitting right. Right about there probably not being exact with the proportions right now just kind of trying to get a good representation All right and then we're gonna add some modifiers to these some subdivision surfaces these this essentially will add vertices after you apply it and smooths it you can go to cat mode carved for smooth or simple which doesn't really smooth very much. Kind of makes your stuff just look a little bit nicer. If you look at it now, it has a lot more vertices. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottle just to make it look nice. All right, and apply. There you go, you got your fur, your pop can. And it's pretty good. Um, yeah, hope this helped you. Uh, watch some more of our tutorials. I'm going to be doing one with texturing. We're going to use this pop can. I'm going to have a basic texturing and then a more advanced one using GIMP. So if you don't already have GIMP, you should probably get it. Or if you have Photoshop, it'll work the same. Um, yep. See you later.